Miss Kristen of the Ooster Hot Free Library. Hello, October. The air is cooler, which is a sign that something all around us will be changing. Can you guess what that is? Fall is here, so very soon the leaves will be changing from green to beautiful shades of yellow, orange, red, and eventually brown. Gusty winds will bring those beautiful leaves for us to find everywhere. Now, not only are leaves pretty to look at, they can be fun too. You can play with them and even jump in them. But did you know that you could create things with leaves? Well, today I'm going to share a book with you called If You Find a Leaf. And if you look closely at the beautiful illustrations in the book, you might notice some beautiful creations made with leaves. Then I'll show you how you can create your own leafy creations and how to preserve leaves so you can enjoy them a little while longer. Let's begin with the book, If You Find a Leaf. If You Find a Leaf, written and illustrated by Amy Takiro and published by Random House Studio. If you find a leaf, you could dream the day away. It could be a hat on a chilly day. or a boat so you could sail far, far away. You could float high above the trees, parachuting down to see all the other leaves. If you find a leaf, it could be a hammock. A place for you to rest and sway in the gentle breeze. It could be your Halloween disguise, a funny mask with cut out spooky eyes. A leafy crown? A dancer skirt? or a superhero's cape. It could be anything you wish to make. If you find a leaf, it could be your muse, hanging high for you to paint its changing hues. You could go apple picking and pumpkin picking too, zooming up the road with your leafy crew. It could be a horn that blows, announcing that we're here. A leafy parade to celebrate our favorite time of year. If you find a leaf, it could be a glowing fire to gather round and sing with friends. Or a comfy blanket for you to snuggle in. And when the days grow shorter and the last leaf falls, I know it's time to say goodbye. Winter calls. Until the spring, when all is green and leafy shoots open toward the sun. The end. That was a pretty cool book. If you look really closely, you will see that a real leaf was used to create 
the cool illustrations or pictures in the story. The author and illustrator encourages you to go outside and look around for some cool leaves and then create something new using your imagination and the leaf. She offers some suggestions to help you get started. Once you find your cool leaf outside, put it on a sheet of paper. Then look carefully at the shape of the leaf. What do you see? Now flip the leaf in all different directions until the leaf shape sparks your imagination. You can even use a pencil to complete your idea. And if you like, you can color in your drawing with whatever supplies you have on hand. Here are just a few of the kinds of creations you might make. Maybe when you look at your leaves, you might see some animals, like this bird or this fox. Maybe your leaf will look like a flower or this turtle. Who knows what you'll imagine once you find your leaves. Now, after leaves fall from a tree, they turn brown, they dry out, and they fall apart. So the author suggests a way to preserve leaves so that you can create with them and help them keep their colors and shape a little while longer. There are many different ways to preserve leaves, so choose from a method that works best for you. Keep one leaf out as a control so you can compare it to the leaves that you preserve. So one leaf you don't preserve so you can compare it to the ones that you do preserve. You might even want to take a picture of the leaves before you preserve them to see what kind of changes might happen. Then you can ask yourself, what changes do you notice? How do the leaves feel? Do they curl up? Do the colors change? And in what way? Try it and find out. Now the easiest way to preserve a leaf is gluing the leaves. Cover the leaves with clear glue or Mod Podge that will help the leaves last a little bit longer. Paint each side with clear glue and allow it to dry before you make your creations. You can also try using clear tape to cover both sides of the leaf. Now these leaves may eventually turn brown. So there's another way that you can preserve leaves and that's by pressing them. Pressing fall leaves is an easy and fun classic way to preserve leaves. You will need some leaves, paper, newspaper or wax paper, and something heavy like books. And if you don't have enough books at your house, then I know where you can find lots of books. The library, of course. Now, first, you want to make sure that your leaves are dry. So pat them dry with a paper towel. Then you'll place them between two pieces of newspaper or wax paper because you want to protect the books while drying out the leaves. Then you're going to stick the leaves between some heavy books and wait. Now here are some tips and tricks. This works best when you are using freshly fallen leaves that are flat and not bumpy or curled up. Now you might need to keep the leaves pressed for up to a week or even more to completely dry out the leaves. Now the method that the author suggests and is used in this book is preserving leaves with something called glycerin. And for this, you're going to need an adult helper. Some leaves, glycerin. Now adults can find this at stores like Walmart. You'll need some water, some shallow containers or objects to use as weights for the leaves, and a paper towel. Basically, you will need to mix one part glycerin to two parts water in a container large enough to cover the leaves. It doesn't have to be very deep, it could be shallow. Then you'll need to submerge the leaves in this mixture. Then you're going to place another container or heavy objects on top of the leaves to weigh the leaves down if necessary. Then you'll want to leave the leaves soaking for three to six days. When that time is up, 
Then pat the leaves dry with a paper towel and allow the leaf to completely dry. Your preserved leaf should feel flexible and be ready to use in many projects as well as last for a longer amount of time. What is happening here? Well, the leaves have soaked up the glycerin, which allows them to retain some of the fall colors for a much longer time. Look in the description box below for complete instructions, tips, and videos of how to complete this project. If you'd like some more leafy fun, I'll include a link to last year's The Leap Leaf and Leaf in the Fall in the description box below. I hope you have fun exploring and I hope you have fun leaf hunting. See you next time. Bye.